Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is the four o'clock close on Friday, the 23rd of September. And we're looking at a Dow closing down 483 points at 29,592. Still below the 30,000 level that I think is really important. It actually went down to 29,250. If you look at the YM, there's a better picture of it. This is the futures. Went right into this technique that I call the Chapman Wave Inside Track Propellant Zone. It went under it. And now it's closing just within it. Uh, the YM needs by Monday or Tuesday to take out the high of today, which is at uh, 30,240. And that that would uh, that would correspond to the Dow high today of, well, the open was 29,955. In other words, you've got a couple of days in which to close sharply above 30,000 in the Dow. And that'll say, hey, at least a short-term low is made. I'm thinking maybe it comes in. Uh, Monday, if they're selling into uh, Sunday night, going into Monday morning, we'll see what happens there. Looking at the S&P, the S&P, that is the 500, S&P 500, also closed a little bit. This is actually a Chapman Wave Roman candle on the downside. And that really says that if there is a close for two out of three sessions above yet today's high of 3727.14 it closed down 643693 uh, that says you could fill the gap and you could even try for the high of Thursday which is at uh, 3790.90 if if Today's lows are taken out Monday morning. There has to be a V-shaped turnaround by the close. Otherwise, it's going to be very poor action. And the QQQs are within that inside track propellant zone. Closed down four at 275.90. IWM was also very weak, closing down at 167. Now, this is going to be important because gold was very sharply lower and the dollar made new um, multi-decade highs at 113.02. But the volatility index, we were talking about that just a moment ago, volatility index closed under 30 at 29.64 after screaming up to 32.31. You see this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone in the weekly charts. See, every time it got into that line, it didn't break the green line. It closed below the pink line. We've just done that Friday afternoon. So this is going to be very important. If the VIX anytime next week starts to trade in the 34s, that's horrible. If it trades in the 25s or lower, that's going to be positive. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. That's a chap sitting in for Tom O'Brien. We'll see you all Monday. Thank you for being here. Sharpening your 